bum, bum, da 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 bum, bum, da. Hey guys. Howdy. What's up and welcome back or to the Roomies Digest. My name's Christine. I'm Mo. And in today's video, we're doing our tarot TBR. <laughs> For the Tarot Readathon, hosted by our lovely friends Jess from Books Past Bedtime, Noelle from Noelle Seven Pages, Brittany from Literarily Smitten, and Deja from Deja's Book World. Bam! So the readathon is going to be J July uh, 10th, 10th or 11th, 10th oh. through the 24th. And it is a competitive readathon. Obviously, that's why they have the four teams. You can win the minor arcana trophy and the major arcana trophy, which basically is just the number of pages that your team reads throughout the readathon versus the number of books. We're not going to give you guys every single prompt, all the, you know, bells and whistles. If you guys are interested in that, we have the host video linked down below. So you guys can check that out if you're interested in joining the readathon with us. But we are going to go over the teams that we have chosen. I actually haven't chosen a team yet, so we're okay. going to do this organically. We're going to do it organically. I'm picking a card. But and the Christine card will choose your team. Has done hers already. So mine is going to be the Swords, which is the Air Sign Element team. It's going to be run by Brittany. Since I already know, Monique is shuffling the deck. She's putting her intentions into the deck, I and am. she's going to draw a card and see which she draws. Traditionally speaking, Monique is a pentacles because she is a earth sign, but she wanted to leave this up to, some would call it fate, the tarot. Okay. So I got the six of pentacles, I think. Six of pentacles, yes. Which means I will be on Noelle's team. It's the team of earth, peace, groundness, nature, wealth, growth. So each team, it's very interesting because they have their own set of rules for the readathon. Pentacles team upright. Books longer than 400 pages that you complete count for an extra 100 points in the minor arcana trophy and an extra two points in the major arcana trophy. So basically the minor okay. arcana is going to be counting your page numbers. The major arcana is going to be counting your books. So any book that you read over 400 pages. The downside of this team is your TBR must consist of only books you already own. You can use the library if you need to, just no new purchases for this TBR. Okay. That's perfect for you because you don't even like to buy books. So of course it was wow. I didn't. Look at us. And then for the swords, the team that I'm on, it's the team of air, logic, intellect, protection, decisiveness, clarity. Swords team upright, which is hosted by Brittany, literarily yeah. smitten, uh is you may use one book to fulfill two prompts, but only once during the readathon. The number of pages in the book will count for double. The swords team reversed is a book for one of your prompts must be chosen at random, i.e. having someone pick your book, throwing a poll up on IG, Twitter, or your channel, using a randomizer app, picking the title of the book out of a jar, etc. The one thing about this readathon is that you can't double up books. So I think the only team that can is the Swords and it's only once. Oh. So there's that. And then once we pick our TBR, it has, that's it. Like you can't change the books. If you don't finish the book, you just don't finish the book. And that's, the, the gospel tea. So what's your intention here? Uh, my intention yeah, tell us. is to pick the first book of my TBR. Okay. It's got to be a book that I already own and that I want to read. So one more shuffle just to be safe. <laughs> oh, so Monique is touching the cards. Monique's putting her intentions into the cards. My goal is to just pick one book that I own that I like. All right. <gasps> Oh my gosh, the Ace of Wands. This is one of my favorite cards and this is what I get a lot when I do my own reading. So the Ace of Wands, read a NetGalley arc or a book that you should have already read. NetGalley arc is so easy. You yeah. can literally read the Monarchs. I'm reading that this month though. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sure there's um, another one in there. Yes. I guess I'll have to pick it right, right now. the second. Right. Am I supposed to shuffle again? You can do whatever you want. This is your this is your pull. Okay, I'm shuffling again. I shuffle like methodically three times on each side and then I just pull, 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 pull. I don't know if I have a goal. I just want books that are not gonna. Okay. This is like very much your Gemini moon coming out right here, I think. Ooh, the four of cups. Okay. 
The Four of Cups is read a book that you've been meaning to read but haven't had the time to. That's basically the same one that you just pulled. Okay. All right. Oh. Nice. Okay, so this is the King of Pentacles. Okay. King of Pentacles. Read a book with an unreliable narrator or a villain's point of view. That sounds like a fun thriller. Nice. I'm loving this pull. Okay. King of Cups. Getting lots of kings here. Okay, King of Cups. Read a book with a logical main character. Okay. Logical. Okay. King of Spades. You have so many kings. Read a book with scientific elements, sci-fi, scientists, characters, etc. Yes! I was gonna get another king, I'm gonna freak out. Ooh. Jack of Spades, which is the Knight of Swords. I don't know why I put that there. Read a book featuring a character on a mission or a quest. Okay. <gasps> Ah, uh, I love her. The Queen of Wands is my absolute favorite. You said card. that about this? No, no, no. I said I get that one all the time, and uh, I love it. But this one is my actual favorite. Of the sunflowers. Because if you see the like actual like original, it's got a queen with her little blonde hair. She's got a black cat. She's surrounded by sunflowers. Okay. Fire energy, baby. Anyway. I, that card always speaks to me. Okay, so Queen of Wands is read a standalone. Okay. One more? Yep. The Ace, I mean Ace, Eight of Wands. So the Eight of Wands, read a fast paced book. All right, so this is my TBR. I will be thinking about what I'm going to read. And we'll talk about it in a little bit yes <laughs> i love these cards because they just look so good Ugh. okay great so the way that i like to do mine i like to shuffle them because also i have a little bit of ocd so i like to shuffle them three times one time face up <laughs> what i just love that you have a method i do one time face down and that counts as a full shuffle. The second shuffle will be face up. Has to be face up, face down. Oh, you do this three times. Mm -hmm. So six times? Yeah. All right, now don't talk to me. Then I do this little weird thing. And what's your intention here? My intention is to have a stacked TBR. And how many books are you aiming for? Nine. Of course you have to do one more than me. Well, it's the max amount that they have on the TBR card. So I felt, I mean, traditionally, if it was a 14 day readathon, I would do like 10 to 12, but I'm not gonna show out like this. So, and I guess if I need more, I can always pull more. I just can't change it once I've pulled it. Got so. it. All right. Okay. Here we go. So I'm going to pull them all and we'll talk about them. Okay, so let's start with the two of hearts or the two of cups. Read a book with a healthy relationship. Beautiful, okay, nice. Okay, so the king of pentacles, I know we had him last time, but I forgot what he was. Read a book with an unreliable narrator or a villain's POV. That's gonna complete my thriller for next month as well. Okay, um, the eight of wands, I think you also got that card as well. Read a fast paced book. Perfect. The Nine of Swords. Read a book with a mental health rep. Ooh, okay. 
Okay, the Two of Swords. Read a book featuring multiple POVs. Nice. The Three of Wands. Read a book set on a different continent. Okay. The Two of Pentacles. Uh, read a book where the character faces a big decision. Okay. The Three of Pentacles. Read a nonfiction book. The Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> read a book with one word title. One word title. Okay. Cool. So <laughs> let's, we're going to go get our TBRs <laughs> and we'll reconvene. Okay. Okay? Yes. Cool. See you guys in a little bit. Okay, guys. So we are back. I've got my stack of books. I'm going to go ahead and go first because I drew last. So we've got all of my cards here and we'll go through what I picked for each of the cards. Okay. So the first card that I drew was the Two of Cups, which I believe is a healthy relationship. So I am going to be reading When We First Met. This is a net galley art. We're trying to get through our net galley books. So essentially this book is about a young woman who has to return home after getting fired from her job. And the healthy relationship I believe is gonna be between her parents because her parents are still together. But she ends up having a rivalry with her like high school rival, I believe, over a grocery store or something. I'm not really sure, but it's a romance. I think it's going to be cute. It sounds really cute. So that is my pick for the two of cups. The next card that I drew was the king of pentacles. So this is going to be the unreliable narrator prompt, and I'm going to be reading imposter syndrome. I have no idea what this is about. Um, oh, she's an intelligence agency. Okay, so she's like a CIA agent for Russia. I know there's a word for that, but do I know and it right there's now? There's like a person that is in charge of like a startup where the loyalties lie i'm not exactly sure but i'm gonna read it because it looks interesting and it's an unreliable narrator methinks moving on the next card that i drew was the eight of wands so i'm gonna be reading the last thing he told me by laura dave dave I believe it's Laura Day. But essentially this woman gets a note from her husband that basically says protect her at all costs. And he's talking about his 16 year old daughter. And then the man goes missing. So she, along with her, I guess, stepdaughter, are trying to find her husband and figure out what happened to him. And they like work with the FBI, I believe, something like that. Yeah, to figure it out. And the only reason I know it's really fast paced is because it says on the inside cover with its breakneck pacing so that is going to be my fast-paced novel for the eight of wands the next card that i drew was the nine of swords or the nine of spades so this is a mental health rep i'm going to be reading anxious people by frederick bachman essentially there is a like robbery happening and the book is a lot more than that i think it's more about like the people that are in you know, involved in it as well as the bank robber and kind of like figuring out their mental state and <laughs> being better people, friendship, love, that kind of thing. I think that's what this is about. I may be wrong, but that is what I'm gonna use for the prompt. All right, the next one that I drew was the Two of Swords. So the Two of Swords is a book featuring multiple POVs. I'm gonna be reading Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I believe these are from the POVs of all the kids that are in this book. I'm not sure, but I know there's at least two, because I checked. That is what I'm gonna be reading. I have no, really no idea what this is about, other than like the kids of a really rich person that lives in Malibu are having a party. It happens over 24 hours, I believe, and chaos and so that's really exciting. We all know that there's a lot of hype over that book. All right, next card that I drew was the Three of Wands. I think this one is the one on a different continent. I'm gonna be reading. Hey guys, editing Christine here. Also, one more insert because I'm crazy and the prompt for the readathon is continent, a different continent, and Mexico is not in a different continent. So instead of reading, reading Velvet Was the Night for that specific prompt, I'm actually going to use the Swords Team Double Up prompt. So one book for two prompts. And I'm going to be counting the Bride Test, which takes place in Vietnam at some point, not the whole entire thing, but at some point for 
the prompt that takes place on a different continent because Vietnam is not in North America. Shocker. Okay, so that's it guys. My bad, I'm crazy. Um, carry on. The next card that I drew was the Two of Pentacles, which is a character who has to make a large, big decision. I'm gonna be reading The Bride Test by Helen Huang. I think that this has a big decision in it because essentially what happens is there is a girl um, that basically gets brought to the U.S. in a deal of if you marry my son, then you can stay here and have your citizenship in the U.S. But I think along the way, they may fall in love. And this is based off characters from the Kiss Quotient. This is the cousin of the main character in Kiss Quotient. His name's Kai. This guy's name is Kai. And he also, I believe, has autism. So this is going to be really fun because I believe at the end, he's going to have to decide if he wants a relationship with this woman before she gets taken out of the United States. Okay, the next card that I drew was the Three of Pentacles, which is gonna be a nonfiction book. I am gonna be reading Ace by Angela Chin. It's basically just a nonfiction book about asexuality and kind of understanding it more. I don't really know what to expect. I just know that I'm gonna learn more about asexuality. So I'm really excited. I got this a little while ago and I've been wanting to read it for a while. So that's gonna be my nonfiction book. Last but not least, I am doing the Ace of Pentacles, okay? And that is basically just a book that is one word. So I'm gonna be reading Foundry Side by Robert Jackson Bennett. Noelle sent me this book recently for my birthday and it's highly anticipated on my TBR. There's supposed to be a really fun magic system. There's a heist, it's fantasy. Couldn't do this readathon without at least one fantasy book. So I'm really excited and I think it's gonna be good. So yeah, these are all the books on my TBR. I'm thinking, hello. I can do it. Also, I love the color coordination besides Foundry Side. But yeah, and that's it. Hey guys. Um. Okay, so little insert here <laughs> because I forgot that there were reverse positions for each of the tarot teams and the reverse position for the swords is that someone other than yourself has to pick one of your books. And I'm not gonna go back and repick, I'm just gonna do the books that I picked and then draw another card so that, um... Sherman, Sherman. So Anyway, Sherman. please for two Sherman. seconds. Sir, no. Sherman, blah, 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 blah. Come here. But you like me to play this game. Yeah. Oh, you good boy. You get hit the face. Just sit here for a sec. What was I even saying? Hmm. So instead of picking cards all over again, you're just going to pick one additional card. Right. Okay. Yeah. To add to my TBR. So that's what we're doing. We're going to pick one card and then Monique is going to pick. No the and book then, for me oh that matches the card yeah because you have to match yeah you okay. have to pick the book depending on what the card is yes. well you don't have to but someone random does yes. so i'm just picking you okay so here's my deck here we go okay oh. this is the knight of pentacles like, read a book that's most an most anticipated on your tbr so i have a you know that for sure i yeah I yeah you're right so i have to pick that so yeah, so you have to pick a book from my like most anticipated TBR list, which would be like any book, that you've pretty about. much any book that I've talked I about recently exactly or like put on my Amazon wish list. I know what you're thinking, but I already know exactly what it is. So are you ready for it? Yeah. I think I, I feel like you just got it in the mail. Oh, okay. Everyone the reveal. Cause I am a good sister-in-law. Good luck to you.
I didn't know I was gonna be weeping next month. Oh my god. I don't know what it's about, Let's see. but you love the series, right? 500, yeah, 596 pages. Okay, that's not bad, Mr. Pierce, Mr. Pierce Brown. Okay, guys, so yeah, this is actually a book on my highly anticipated TBR. I wasn't expecting to read this next month, but I will be getting to it. This is the fourth book in the Red Rising series. It's kind of like, a, I would say like a continuation instead of a spinoff, but a continuation of the series past the trilogy. Like I said, highly anticipated. I loved the first three. So am I ready for this roller coaster ride? I'm like thinking about how crazy it it was when I was reading Morning's uh, Star. Iron Gold, baby. Okay, so that's my pick. All right, so this these are the books I'm gonna read. Um, first, we have The Queen of Wands, which is going to be Malibu Rising. You already saw, Christine talks about it, but I'm really excited to read that. That book, I think, read a standalone. So that's that, I think it's a standalone. Okay, next we have King of Pentacles, which is read an anticipated book. Hey guys, I just realized I made a mistake when I said King of Pentacles. I meant King of Pentacles, but that is going to be an unreliable narrator, which I will not be reading people who meet on vacation for. I'm actually gonna be reading Vengeful, which is the second book in the Vicious series, which I read last month. So that is what I'll be reading. Next, we've got the Ace of Wands, which is going to be read a net galley book, and I will be also reading Velvet Tonight, which Christine explained. So I'm excited to read that as well. I really love Mexican Gothic, so I'm looking forward to that one. All right, next up, we've got the Four of Cups, which I will be reading White is for Witching. I think Four of Cups, read a book that you've been meaning to read, but you haven't had time to, which is pretty much a whole list. So. <laughs> This is White for Witching or White is for Witching. I think it's kind of similar to Mexican Gothic. I've never read anything by this author. So kind of like a neo-Gothic weird things are happening, really creepy horror book, which everyone seems to like. So I'm looking forward to this. Next up is The King of Swords, which I will be reading Dark Matter. So this one, I believe is the science element let me make sure read a book with science elements i feel like dark matter is exactly what this is i think someone wakes up in like a different um like town or like but he doesn't recognize anything i think that's what it means yeah jason this guy named jason wakes up to life that it's not the one that he remembers living so it's kind of like what am i doing here right so definitely sci-fi elements Next up, we have The Knight Swords. of Swords. Read a book featuring a character on a mission or a quest. And I'm just going to go ahead and knock out another one. The King of Cups as well, because they're both a part of the same trilogy. So y'all know that I love Annihilation. But authority has been a little slow for me. So for King of Cups, it is read a book with a logical main character. And I think the second book is about this man named Control who's in charge of this whole like um, experiment, like the Area X, which the first book is about. So that meets that requirement. But then I got the uh, Knight of Swords, which said Journey or Quest which I think is going to be like the last ditch effort. I don't know what happens in this book, but I'm thinking it's like a last ditch effort for one team to like kind of fix or just to succumb to whatever. I don't know what happens. The thing's happening from this book. So I think they go hand in hand. And I bought this trilogy because I like the first one so much. So I would really hope that these are good. So that's what that choice is for. And then the final card is the eight of wands and that is going to be a fast-paced book i believe and i am going to be reading the loop i got this as a belated birthday gift from effie and carol from carol t reads underscore reads you can't forget the underscore and i will be reading the loop it's kind of like a stranger things meets um what's the word they say world war z so it's very zombies yeah, it's like some, I don't know. I like put it on my wish list so long ago, but I remember them just being like a 
conspiracy theory thriller. thriller for you. Exactly. You know I love my conspiracies. And it is a thriller. And the back says it is a volcano of a book. Violent, relentless, and opulently strange. I feel like that leads to believe that it's going to be very fast paced. Yeah. So I'm going to be reading The Loop by Jeremy Robert Johnson. Cool. And that is my TBR. TBR. Yes. Cool. So we have quite a few books on our tarot TBRs. I feel confident that we can get through them. Nothing too crazy. We don't have any like 800 pagers. Yeah. I was thinking, so. should I stack it? That way, so we can ensure the victory of the pentacles. You can always draw more cards, though. But I don't want Christine to see my strategies, because... Well, I try to have a chill, you know, meditative tarot card readathon. I know deep within her, she, it, it's already, you know, destroy me, so... My heart's already racing. <laughs> I look calm, but I'm really not. So I'm just going to keep my strategies to myself. Mm. And in the end, the correct it doesn't team, even matter. The correct team will be crowned winner. All right. Well, if you guys remember the DCG readathon, we had a similar situation. House was divided. Monique talked a lot of smack, and I'm gonna leave it at that mm -hmm. because we all know. But see, this doesn't even Who matter. Really, like, it's won. not even gonna be based on tasks. You know, it's gonna be based on reading. And yes. that is where the amount of books that is where I will thrive so yes right yes you will for sure read as many books as me I see what you're trying to do but you can't it's cannot, really not me trying it's the facts you, you cannot discount my teammates oh I see anyway doesn't matter okay guys so that's for sure for sure our TBR if you guys are also in oh my gosh Sherman me besides that little interruption <clears throat> that is our tbr if you guys have read any of these books let us know how you felt about them if you guys are participating in the tarot readathon let us know if you're on you know one of our teams and if you're not watch out you don't have to watch out for pentacles unless you're looking up to the winner's circle but you know we're very welcoming on this side Anyway, anyway, go ahead. We're really excited. Um, let us know if you're participating again in the comments. If you want to give us a like, we will really appreciate it. You know, if you click the thumbs up button. Also, fine if you want to hit the other button. You know, they all count for engagement for us. So. So. But we would prefer the other one. Yeah. Um, you know, positivity begets positivity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this will be fun. I really like doing the the tarot picks our tbr yeah that was really fun all right so if you would like to subscribe to the channel and support me and monique here that would be amazing click that subscribe button turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss another video from us and until our next video we'll see you guys in the next one bye